stuff out there without setting fire to the base. What's the first rule? Don't set fire to the base. Don't set fire, exactly. Well, in fairness, sir, there was no real harm done. The paperwork was safe in the ISO and nobody was hurt. Oh, that is good news. It would be awful if Michael Rocket had been singed. I presume they're to blame for this debacle. Well, I'll be investigating the cause of this fire vigorously, sir. How's this going to look when the Secretary of State for Defence arrives tomorrow? Is he or she? Five hours of standing around, nodding, pointing. Tell me about it. Pretending to laugh at his stupid jokes. H-T-E-A. H-T-E-A. Having to explain acronyms. Awful. Mm. Oh, and did I mention you'll be looking after him? What? That's a favour to me, since this whole fire incident has really brought us together. No, but, sir, I am on call for... Yes, yes, if there's a device, you must go. But otherwise, you're in charge of keeping this prize-winning chump out of harm's way. And out of my way. Sir, do that, and I might overlook this gigantic flaming cock-up. Carry on. Do you want your kebab? No, boss. Yes, I do. Okay, guys, everything squared away? Yes, boss. And by everything, I mean a bunch of fire-damaged kit and ashes. Why, Gloria? Why? Get that thing thrown away. Boss, the fire safety on this base is a shambles. What makes you say that? Uh, I did try and warn you about the dangers of barbecues. Frick! Got a go. It needs yen. I would like to volunteer to be fire safety officer for the base. Fine. I'm ideal for the job because I'm used to preempting danger with my hawk light. I said, fine, Simon. Go and see the lieutenant colonel. I'm sure he'll be just as excited as I am. Yes, boss. Boss, there's something to get asking for you. Oh, that'll be my Ocado order. A bloke called Ahmed. Youngish, friendly-ish. Bellend-ish. Unfortunately, he thinks he's on our side, so we can't shoot him. You've got to mention he's an utter bellend. Well, he seemed fine to me. No, I bet you don't he's a bellend. You can't prove someone's a bellend. Ten dollars. Within 24 hours, you'll be calling him a bellend. You're on. All right, Tablo, you can go and make your own unbiased assessment of his bellendery. Oh, and uh, he may have brought an IED with him. His hobby is digging them out of the ground to show us. Really? Yeah. It's weird. No, we have the same hobby, and yet... I still don't like him. Now off you fuck. Sorry, uh, Ahmed. Captain's busy. Well, this is okay. The two of us, we can work together. I wish to ensure the safe disposal of these, uh, landmines. Okay. Good. Uh, but we'd prefer if you just leave them where you... Shit, stop! Let's throw them around. That's TNT coming out. Your legs, it made their old. If they were going to go pop, they would have gone by now. Am I right? Listen, you total bellet. You totally believe that you're doing the right thing. But it's probably best if we just place them carefully in the pit. And I'm still trying to keep them level. Okay, okay. Uh, shit! Best of both worlds, mate. I throw them to you. You place them carefully in the pit. Okay? Mary, you look more free. And cutting the army. And taking the Lib Dems down with them. Well, you're foxy when you're cross. We should talk about politics more often. Let's have a steamy night in and talk about foreign policy. Nick, this does actually matter. Sure it does. It does. No, I'm agreeing. No, you're not. Anyway, who do you vote for? You do vote, right? Yeah, I vote. I voted for... Who was the hot girl on X Factor? Bye, Nick. <laughs> In view of recent events, I would like to volunteer to be the fire safety officer for the base. Fine. I'm ideal for the job because I'm used to preempting danger with... I said fine. Talk to the CQMS. You might have some equipment. Ooh, sir? Or a special hat. <laughs> Why do ministers insist on visiting Afghanistan? Why don't they just watch Ross Kemp like anyone else? And they always drive off the heli in a natty little Land Rover. I'm a lieutenant colonel, I don't have a natty little Land Rover. Are you saying you want a Land Rover, sir? Uh, I'm the minister for the armed forces. Colin Walters. Welcome to the base, sir. Please excuse my earlier comments. Don't worry, it happens all the time. I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Smith, uh, this is Captain Medhurst, who has generously volunteered to look after you for the few short hours. We're delighted you could spend with us. Much obliged. Oh, uh, Tim, 
Write these names down, please. Uh, this is uh, Corporal House, sir. Sir, House. And uh, Corporal Bird, sir. Yeah. Lance Corporal Simon Lansley, fire safety officer. Which, as you can see, is going very well. Wait a second, can I get you a brew? Yes, a brew would be lovely. Thank you. So Jenny got moved to transport, Neil got done for expenses, and the next thing was, I got a call saying, fancy being Minister for the Armed Forces. <laughs> what an inspiring story. It's, it's quite funny when you think about it. I wasn't even a Cub Scout. And it is all one big game of Cubs out here. Aye. Dab, dab, dab. Step, step, bang. Oh, sorry. No, I... Look, I really need to see the full picture. Hmm? I need to see the grit. The muck, the danger. Sir, I've been tasked with keeping you out of harm's way, no, so I... No, 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 I want to be in harm's way. Yeah, it's just I hear that getting your legs blown off isn't quite as fun as you'd first imagine. <laughs> what I meant was, it, I just want to see something go bang. Hmm? But you're right, what I'm really here for is to find out what you guys want from us. Tim? Better food. Yes, yeah. Oh, more food. Relocation of the entire war to Tuscany. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Don't write that down, Tim. Uh, maybe you could show me around the base, hmm? Then we can see where we get to. We'll just get to a different bit of the base. Oh, ah, boss, uh, permission to deliver a fire safety lecture at the suitable time. Denied. In case of emergency, shout fire, fire, fire. Sounds reasonable. Except in a war zone where we all have weapons. Ah, uh, yes, good point. Mm. Thank you, Fire Officer Lansley. Oh, ah. <laughs> took... no. Oh, hi, Mary. I literally had no idea you'd be in here. Ah, oh, the Padre in the chapel. What are the chances? Look, if it's about that Tory twat again, I've already told you... Oh, gosh. Hello. Hello. Reverend Mary Greenstock. Nice to meet you. I'm Colin Walters. Walters. Yes, I know. Yeah. Lib Dem member for Croydon West. What's all this? You know him then? Oi, oi. No, 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 not personally. I, well, I wish. <laughs> no, I mean, I know his, your work. I know your work. He's a Methodist lay preacher and a tireless social justice campaigner. Oh, good news, Minister. You appear to have flushed out your stalker. <laughs> Stalk. <laughs> By the way, the photo on your website doesn't do you justice. Seriously? Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm sure that if the chaplain's department wanted someone to put on their um, websites, they couldn't do better than you, Padre. <laughs> minister, look, why don't I show the minister around? Because I think Nick must have ooh, 1,023 things to do. No, actually no. Boss, we've got a shout on. Suspected AED in yellow one by. 1,024 now. Oh, you must go. All right. Uh, yeah, bomb will still be there. But what if somebody steps on it? Then it won't be there. Problem solved. Fine, I'll do the bomb. Ooh. When we get back, let's see the rest of that meat. No more barbecues. What's an order from the fire safety officer? But we've still got three quarters of our goat left. And it's not that nice raw. I don't care. No more barbecues. What if we didn't cook it on a barbecue? You want tandoor? What's a tandoor? Clay oven. Very hot fire. Bury it in the ground. Kebabs. Delicious. We should get that. I find one for you. We shall agree. One hundred dollars. I'll give you twenty. Done. What was that? What were you selling him? Porn. Right, tower block. This device is oh, very unstable, so I think we're going to have to blow it in situ. But what about collecting evidence for forensics? OK, fine, if we have to, but... Got to work fast, because we're losing the light. Uh, yeah, good point. It does always get dark around noon. At, at least I think it says noon. The sun's so blindingly bright, I can't It's quite... all right. I have to get back to get the ponty away from Mary. Ah! Probably too late. You'll be bending it over the altar as we speak. I'm seeing the fucking... Yes, all right. Boss, I see movement. Something is happening. Ah, oh, glad we're paying extra for detail. <laughs> Until PID. Do not engage until PID. Diamond 2 1, this is Bluestone 4 2, contact. Wait out. Who the fuck Do is that? Engage! It's Ahmed! I'm not here! Oh, fucking hell! Ahmed! Stop shooting your fucking gun! Taliban! Kutibarata Sata! He says the Taliban can lick his balls! I can see them! The Taliban on his balls. Tree line, 2 o'clock! Ah! 
Ahmed, you have to stop doing this. But Blue Stoners, I came to help my new friend Tower Block. We're making awesome team. <laughs> Here you go, Tower Block. Some training on handling locals. Why don't you outline the rules of engagement to Ahmed so I don't have to punch him in the face? Uh, okay. Ahmed, if you want to get involved, you need to join the ANA. Ahmed, why don't you share your views on the Afghan National Army with Tower Block here? They can lick my balls. He seems really keen on people licking his balls. Maybe he doesn't have a shower. What you're doing fucks up the rules of engagement. We need positive ID before we return fire. <laughs> this is what I like about the British. They're all about the jokes. Oh, my most favourite comedian is Michael McIntyre. And uh, what's your favourite joke of his? Oh, <laughs> the first time I heard him, I thought, yes, I do have mandra. And uh, what do you keep in it? Grenades. Of course you do. See? A massive end of a gigantic bell. Oh, it's lovely talking. Sir? <laughs> oh, I know. Padre, <laughs> sir, if I could peel you off Mary for just one moment. I'm about to conduct a logistical demolition, and I wondered if you would like to spend your last hour with us watching something go bang. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Mary, do you mind? Mary. No, of course not. No, no. You're the boss. <laughs> uh, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Private, could you hop out so I can borrow this vehicle? Uh, no, sir. I beg your pardon? Uh, this vehicle is for the explosive use of the minister, sir. The minister's not here, is he? So be a good chat and hop out. Private. Sorry, sir. Specific orders from the Gate HQ. Well, I'm a Lieutenant Colonel, so just put those orders to one side, temporarily. Sorry, sir. Can't I just have a tiny go in it? Tiny, tiny go? Please, come on, please. Superior officer, please. You've made yourself a powerful enemy. That should do it. Boss, the colonel said to keep him out of harm's way. This is out of harm's way. Ish. And it's out of Mary's way. I saw how much serviceable explosive you used. They're going to hear this in Kabul. Fuck it, I've got to stop him slithering into Mary's affections like some kind of tiresome parasitic worm. Oh. Right. Time for some fireworks. I mean the... Safe disposal of ordnance in a controlled environment. Can I press the button? Can I press the button? Tower block. We have guests. Sorry. Um, sir, would you like to press the button? Yes, please. Everyone in cover! Stand by! Controlled explosion in seconds one zero! Okay, so if you just wait Ten, for the countdown, then push nine, these two together. Eight! Seven! Six! Should have a bit of a kick up five, on top of donor charges by 10%. Four! Three! But I already did that. Oh, oh, shit. shit. So, Minister, this is what we do. Wow, fantastic. Shame you can't stay longer. We could have taken you out into the field with us. Do you really mean that? Of course. Tim, cancel my meetings for tomorrow. I'm staying with Bluestone 4-2. Oops. And how long does he think he's staying for? A week? A lunar month? Well, I hope it... Shut up! Midhurst, you are without doubt one of the least professional officers I've ever had the misfortune to meet. And I've been on joint ops with the French. Sir, in fairness, he did specifically request to see a controlled demolition. Oh, then since you're in a generous mood, I'm specifically requesting that you babysit that tiresome plot until he leaves, at which point you will be on shit-burning duty for the next six months. What? Arifin? <laughs> I smell burning. A cook house? Skip. Mm. Smells like a barbecue. <laughs> oh, aye. It does a bit, doesn't it? I can't see a barbecue, though, Skip. Mm. Must just be the cook house. Why is the ground on fire? Watch out now, Oh, God! That's paraffin. Right, get that put out! I will seek medical advice. Right, I'm up to my chin and shit with the Colonel. That shit is rapidly rising. If we can't get rid of this ponty soon, then that shit is going to go above my head, and I going to be swimming in shit. Tower block, I need you to call your bezer Ahmed. He's not my bezer. He's a bellend. You'll see. 
Whatever. At least he's reliably deranged. What you've got to do is you've got to tell him to bring in something that looks like a massive device. So the Ponty is evacuated. You know, like a couple of palm oil containers, flower sacks taped together in the back of his car, a bit of old wire. That's a terrible idea. The gate guards won't let him just drive it in. Everybody watched Zero Doubt 30 last week, and that's exactly what happens in that. Is it? Which bit? The bit where they drive the car bomb into the base. Oh, yeah. That's my favourite bit. Are you fucking insane? I asked for a fake device. I know, but I found the real one, mate, so I brought you that instead. Oh, you didn't think to tell us that before we let you drive the fucking thing in here. I could drive it out again. It's not safe. It might be. Hope they're right. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? There's a reason for that. Oh, shit. I thought you searched the car. I pretended to search the car. Yes, but while you were pretending to search the car, I thought that you might have noticed. That was a oh, doesn't matter. Look, it's too late. Um, just get my kit. We'll set up an ICP over there. Evacuate to the perimeter. And I'll just tell everyone there is a suspicious looking device in the car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to do? Not smoke. Bellend. <laughs> Yeah, slight development. The bomb's real. It's a real bomb. What? what? I thought it was a fake bomb. Yeah, so did I. Turns out it's a real one. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If the bomb that was meant to be fake is actually real, then nothing's changed. There's no trouble. We still evacuate the minister. Everything's okay. Yes, Simon, everything's okay, apart from the socking great bomb right there that could flatten most of the base. Oh, yeah. Good morning, chaps. Has anyone seen the Padre? Nope. Oh, maybe didn't frighten her off. <laughs> is everything all right? Haven't you seen Zero Dark Thirty? Well, you know what's gonna happen. It's, it's all right. To sum it up, it's a firm three stars. Look, I'm sorry, Minister, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to get you in a heli while I do a render safe. I already took the liberty of ordering one. It's the Afghan Air Force, so good luck. Should we wait over here? Right. Let's hope I can sort this out quickly before the Colonel finds out. <clears throat> oh, might just be me, but it seems this whole area is being evacuated. Yes, sir. If I could explain, I'm back. Car. Don't drive a fucking car bomb into the fucking base. That's not even the first rule. It's so fucking obvious. Sir. Deal with that, then come and see me. I'm going to personally make sure that you'll move to the shittiest desk job in the army. Where even the desk is made of shit. Hmm. Awkward. <laughs> How long until the chopper gets here? I really want to say goodbye to Mary before I leave. Oh, feel free to pop out and find her. Oh, really? Yeah, just take a left at the car bomb. Hey, Blue Zoners! No cigarettes in here! This is live ammunition. Would the joint be okay? I feel kind of tense. Roger that. Ow. Taxi for the minister. Thank God. Are we safe here? How do you mean safe? Well, if the bomb were to uh, detonate, what would happen? What, here? We'd die? Aye. Definitely. Die. this. Okay, tower block, you can sound the all clear. Oh, so you normally let car bombs onto the base, do you? One showing of Zero Dark Thirty and suddenly everyone's an expert. Well, if it was to get rid of him, you needn't have bothered. Last night he told me he's about to defect to the Tories. Just to keep his majority at the next election, I... I thought we had principles. It's just another green stock hope dashed. Sorry. No, you're not. No, you are not. Blah, they're the one that brought him here. Too small, in fact, to fit that in it. <laughs> no, 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 this is not safe. Get us all cleared up. Oh, come on! Well, whatever the morning, she's. Where is he? Sir, that utterly useless, soon to be Lieutenant Medhurst. Okay. He seems. Sir! What? Um, it's a Land Rover. 
Is that what it is, sir? So it is. Thank you, Captain Moathurst. I knew I could rely on you. And Bluestone 4-2. Uh, carry on. Yumbles. You know what, tower block? You should have really searched that car better. I left all these grenades in the glove box. Right. Give me I'll put them in a pit by the gate. No, it's okay, mate. I'll put them in the pit by the gate. No, not in the pit by the gate. In the pit by the gate. Sure, Vanny! Ahmed, you fucking bellen, just do what I... Ah! <sighs> <sighs>